skateboards. They are a lot of fun. It can be used for transportation or just for a sport. Now what is even more fun than a regular skateboard is an electric skateboard. So today I'm going to show you how to build an electric skateboard. First we start with a good old simple skateboard. Now this is actually a electric skateboard but the hub motor is damaged so we're just gonna have to use the board. We begin with removing the screws in order to remove the old rusty trucks and skateboard wheels. Now that the board is bare, we can move on to replacing the old skateboard grips with new ones. And by using a heat gun it will make the job way easier. Now before putting on the new skateboard grips, we're gonna sand off the old adhesive in order for the new skateboard grips to stick well. This is the new grip tape for the skateboard, which you can get from Amazon for about $9. Now to get the grip tape to stick well to the board, we first have to peel it off slowly from the release paper. Then lay it down over the board and then gradually hit it with the sequence until all the air bubbles are out and it's stuck to the board. Next, we mark with the screwdriver where we will cut off the extra grip tape. Now we take a sharp razor and start cutting. To smooth out the board, we're going to take an extra piece of grip tape and sand down the edges. Now that the board is ready, we can finally move on to the electronics. Now for the hub motors, I went for a dual 500 watt hub motor kit. Which doesn't just come with two giant 90mm hub motors, but it also comes with two regular 90mm wheels with the same exact size truck. To mount the trucks, we first lay down the spacer, then we add the trucks, then we push the bolt through the hole that's still there from the previous truck. Now we tighten everything down. Now that the wheels are mounted, we can move on to the ESC, which is a two channel, whole sensor equipped ESC, which means that it has a zero start. More on that later in the video. Next, we need to build a battery pack and we're gonna use 18650 batteries rated at 2600 mAh. To use those batteries, we first have to get them all fully charged. And now that they're fully charged, we can move on to the next step, which is taping them up with some painter's tape. Now I'll use my homemade spot welder in order to weld the connections. First we start with the parallel connections. 
Then we head over to the series connections. Now before hooking up the BMS, we're just gonna test the battery if it has the right voltage. And yes, 41.9 volts, just what you would expect from a fully charged 10S battery. Now the BMS we'll be using is a 10S 36 volt 30 amp BMS. Let the wiring begin. Now to mount the BMS onto the battery, we're gonna use double-sided foam tape. And before doing that, we're gonna stick the thermal sensor in between two batteries in order to protect the battery from overheating. Then we hook up the charge port and the power output cable. Then we just seal everything with some painter's tape. And now it's done. Next, we need an enclosure. So I went ahead and designed one and let it print on my 3D printer. Now that the print is done, we can move on to installing the charge port, the LED indicator, and the start button. In order to protect the components, we'll pour some hot glue over them. Now we hook up the three motor phase wires onto the ESC and then we plug in the whole sensor wire. Before we close it up though, we're gonna connect the battery to the ESC and give it a test. It works. Let's move on then. To get the battery to stay in one place and protect it from vibration, we'll put some foam tape on the top and the bottom. To waterproof the skateboard, we're gonna put some foam tape onto the roof of the enclosure. Now we just have to mount the enclosure onto the skateboard with some bolts and then we're done, right? Now guys, when I did a test ride on this electric skateboard, I actually realized something, it was that the box, the enclosure, was starting to open up, was starting to, to come apart. Because of that, I was forced to 3D print another enclosure, which has the design of a through and through nut and bolt. If you're wondering how much it weighs, I put it on a scale and 16 pounds, not bad. Now the moment of truth, let's test it out. Do you remember about the zero start I was talking about earlier in the video? Now here you can see that I don't have to kick off in order to start. If this skateboard wouldn't have zero start, you would have to kick off in order to start. Now the moment everybody has been waiting for, the top speed run, and we'll be using GPS for my phone. It's 
22 miles per hour and I have to say that it's a pretty scary speed for an electric skateboard. And now that we know that the top speed is 22 miles per hour, let's do a 0 to 20 speed test. As you can see we didn't just get a 0 to 20 in 8.5 seconds but we also beat our record and got 23 miles per hour. Now if you like this video then please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell in order not to miss any of my new videos. And feel free to comment on any part of the video that you like most. Thanks for watching.